before I rent that business into the ground. Let's get it. Hop off a 16 passenger. This is G5. No, this not a challenger. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're talking about Peach McIntyre and Mr. Underwood. Y'all, this is such a tragic uh, display that's going on in front of us. It's like two people being in a car driving down the highway as fast as they can. And it's a brick wall right down there. You see it. One of them sees it. We all know what's about to happen, except one of them. But they still driving. Here's the truth about these two. The sad thing is Peach will not leave well enough alone. She is basically horrible for her own best interest. She's got wood. He's at home. This is what she wants. This is who she loves. And she just won't be happy with what she has. She keeps trying to change it and feel like because she has the ability to uh, make money that she can change and control everything. And the fact is, that's just not uh, a plausible situation. She's not going to make him be a better him. He's going to be who he is. He's always going to be who he is. He's always going to give what he's going to get. And eventually her emasculating him and then thinking that she can buy away the situation with money is going to end up running him out the door. Because the thing about it is, yes, she's got money, but that money is not making him happy. And the thing is, she will never have enough money to make him happy. She'll have enough money to put a band-aid over a situation, but even with that, eventually it's going to be too much. It's going to not be enough for him, and he will probably end up walking away, especially if she keeps dogging him the way that she does. My thing is, if she will take the effort that she puts into being negative, into being positive, the outcome will be much greater. Maybe she can make him care enough to want to change. She feels she can buy everything, and her ignorance, her ghetto mindset, and her off putting mentality is what's going to be her own demise in the end. Just like she said at the beginning of this video, she ran the last million dollar business she had in the ground. Now, the only reason we know she had it is because she says no one is like, oh, well, Peach was this, Peach was that. Yeah, I know her from back when. Nobody has been able to say that. Just like now, she feels that she can uh, make more money by uh, selling a product. The problem is she needs to stop focusing on the product and maintain her efforts and energy into content creation, which is what's really bringing her money. Peach McIntyre is the definition of a true narcissist. She thinks that what she is is perfect. What she has is perfect, that she can get and control everything and that she can manipulate anything. And that's going to be, again, what makes her lose everything, including wood. Tell me, guys, what do you think about this? What do you think about uh, the commentary? What do you think about the situation? I don't know if you got, guys have had the opportunity to look at the video of them uh, going, getting on a, a plane and going to Houston. Now, the trip itself seemed very enjoyable. Uh, the hotel was amazing. And the girl makes a good video. Cannot dispute that. But everything else was just as always, in regular peach fashion, a shambles. Y'all, tell me what y'all think. I'll meet you in the comments below.